So what's better than a good running 125? Not a whole lot. They sound rad and they're very fun. And for anybody who grew up riding in the 80s or 90s, two strokes were it and they're still really cool, fun to fix up, can be very cost effective and to fix up for your younger rider who's a lot smaller and, uh, than me, 12, 13, 14, 15 year olds. Great bikes to get them going on. I think there's a lot of good that can come from a two stroke. Uh, and teaching them good riding skills and also working on bikes a lot easier than modern four strokes. So we're gonna give you an inside look at everything we did to this Transworld poster bike we built up for them. We're gonna show you kind of everything we did to it and talk about it. Not everything do you need to do on your bike, but this will give you some ideas and some things you can do uh, to fix up your own older two-stroke. Start off on this bike. We take her down to the frame completely. We powder coat the frame. Out here in California, we have a company called San Diego Powder Coating that does a great job. And they went through this thing for us and powder coated the frame. Of course, we get all new plastics on this thing. And uh, for this, this bike, we have UFO plastic on here. We go through and put all new plastic on the side panels. We actually cut them to make them a little bit more modern uh, look. So we cut those. While the bike's apart, we send the suspension off to get done. We have uh, Race Tech uh, do that for us, went through the suspension. Now the swing arm was all beat up, so we went ahead and had that uh, polished. Now the reason we do it polished is because uh, our guy, Geronimo, he does a great job. He's in Lake Elsinore, and he, this guy will just buff off all the gouges and everything. So we just do that. It's easy to stay up on, and once it get, get, kind of gets doled out, you can just use Scotch Brite on it and give it that brush look. For the wheels on these things, the stock wheels were still in good shape. The hubs. So we had Faster USA go through and rebuild the hubs for us. Um, and they, you know, use a Cerakote on them to give them this trick look. And we also did the brakes at the same time. Now this is a bit overkill for anybody who's just wanting to make a good running bike, but this is something we did to go over the top. Uh, we mounted those up to some Excel gold rims to give it a really cool look. We got the Super Sprox red aluminum sprocket with the Super Sprox chain. Uh, for pegs on this thing, we went, the Raptor makes some KTM pegs like for a 13 to 15 model. And we were able to get those to fit on here. There's no one that really sells any tie pegs for, for this bike specifically. You can see the clutch cover. Uh, Henson doesn't have a cover for this bike, but we have their parts in here. So we went ahead and just polished the stock cover and then buffed it off a little bit with Scotch-Brite. So for the brakes down here, we have some Fast Company little pieces on here. Their brake return spring and clevis. Again, not must-haves, but really cool pieces. Nihilo makes some frame tape to keep the frame looking good. Uh, we have our uh, moto seat did a seat to match our graphics decal works did our graphics we have a solid tank graphics on here we throw those on just for the photo shoots because they will bubble up you need ones with slits or holes and we have a set for this bike from decal works but we throw those on for the poster shoot so that uh, we give it a, a good look uh, icw went through and strengthened up the radiators for us these things were a little bit bent on the older bike so they went ahead through and strengthened them up and that's a really nice thing to do applied made some custom clamps um, these clamps fit the newer front end pieces. Again, not a must have to do, but at the same time, we changed out all the bearings in the steering stem. We did all the bearings in the linkage swing arm. We changed out all those bearings with all balls uh, pieces. And of course with them, we do the carburetor rebuild kit, throttle cable, clutch cable. We did all those at the same time. Of course, we have the FMF pipe and silencer, which just give it that rad sound. And then as far as the engine, we went through and completely rebuilt the entire engine. Uh, we have a complete wrench rabbit kit with the crank, piston, everything we need. And at the same time, when we had it apart, uh, Millennium went ahead and repaired the cylinder and Tom Morgan went ahead and ported the cylinder and cut the head to his spec. So we left it stock bore. We could have gone to 134, but we decided just to keep it stock bore. Okay, so on the brakes, Motomaster, we got new rotors from them with tusk brake lines. So we got steel braid lines. Again, not always a must. Usually the front brake line on an older bike will always like to replace because uh, they do get worn out and spongy feeling. Um, again, you can see the brake components have all been you know, cherried out. Um, the throttle housing, we just painted it. Um, we can clean those up and paint those. Got new levers from Works Connection with our perch and a lot of the Works Connection bling pieces on everything. TM Designs makes really cool pieces for the chain guide pieces. We got all those on, of course. On this side of the engine, you can see the carburetor that Tom Morgan at TMR went through and made sure it was all jetted good and cleaned up. Also got the V-Force to add to the performance. So again, this is a good running stock CC motorcycle um, that 
It should be good lasting for a long time. So, uh, as you can see, it smells like it's jetted just right. That's how we check it, and it's good. Got a little bit of uh, ooze here. She, she's just right. Uh, so, nothing smells better than a little uh, Klotz R50 in the morning, and the uh, thing feels great. Um, we'll run a little bit of uh, Avgas or C12 mixed with pump gas in this thing to keep us from detonating. The, a lot of people love to tell me, uh, I've run pump gas my whole life, it's fine. Well, if you're riding on anything sandy, muddy, if you have anything done to your motor, even with a stock motor or stock YZ125, for instance, brand new or KTM, you're gonna get detonation in tough conditions. So add a little bit of Avgas or C12 to your motor, uh, to, to your gas mix, so that you prevent any of that from happening. So you wanna avoid detonation on a two stroke, you do that, keep good gas and oil mix, keep your air filter clean. These things can go a long time. And as you know, it's very easy to rebuild the top end um, and top end in a clutch in a 125 and you're golden. So again, really fun bikes. We love two strokes out here. We're gonna go trail ride our, our two strokes today. So I thought we'd give you an inside look at this bike and for, for Transworld Motocross and we'll have a link to uh, further stories on this bike as well. See you later.